God puts us in nations, in places, not by mistake, but to do a job. What if we opened our eyes to the needs of our colleagues, of our leaders, of our subordinates, and we were a priest on their behalf? My name is Brett Johnson. I'm Lynn Johnson. And we'd like to welcome you to the Repurposing Business podcast that will be coming to you each week. Welcome to Season 6, How to Work Like God in 31 Weeks. Welcome back to Season 6, Work Like God in 31 Ways, and we are on way number 27, Work with Compassion. The world doesn't need compassionless crusaders, people who want to change the world, but do so just because they have a cause, but they don't have the heart of God or love for the people that they're serving, are a gigantic pain in the neck. In fact, they are dangerous. And so we have to work with the compassion of Christ. Remember 1 Thessalonians where it says, I remember your work produced by faith and your labor prompted by love. And we love Jesus and so therefore we love the world, the people around us. So our work should be motivated by love. Jesus saw the crowds and had compassion on them because they hadn't eaten. A while later he was going along and saw a funeral procession where a woman's son had died. And he, his heart broke, the scripture says, for the woman. So Christ was moved with compassion. And our work should be work that is not just passionate, but compassionate. Years ago, we were in Jakarta. And as we worked with repurposing a group of companies. We've worked with about 80 companies in Indonesia. As we worked with those companies, one guy was a single man who had about 50 employees. Most of those employees were not people of the Christian faith. And he decided that what he would do was go and visit them in their homes to see what their bathrooms were like, their restrooms, to see if they were up to scratch, if they were high enough quality for somebody who worked for a Christian. So he came up with this idea himself. And so his thought was, if the ablution facilities are not up to scratch, I'll pay to remodel their bathroom so that they have the dignity of a good uh, wash area ablution facility. Well, it's quite a story. A few years later, we went to see him and one of my colleagues, Dina, asked, so how's it going with the toilets? He said, I'm not doing them anymore. And we thought, oh no, it was quite a good story. It's a pity that he stopped and we said, why not? He said, well, when I went to their houses, I saw that their houses were a mess. And so moved with compassion, he decided to work on remodeling houses. Some of the houses were built over rivers and when the water rose, the water would come into the house. Others had holes in the wall. And so he moved with compassion, came up with a solution and he'd already remodeled eight houses and had about another five underway. And he had a plan to finish houses for all 50 of his employees. Now you might say he must have been in a high margin, high growth business. Actually, he sold mufflers or exhaust pipes and car tires. So it's typically a pretty competitive business, but where there's the compassion, one will find the way to do what God wants us to do. One of the things that's been powerful as we've been working with businesses, we've worked with over 400 companies around the world, in this question of getting their business into God's business, it's not a question of mechanics or scorecards. What gets to the heart is when business leaders realize that their business is their household. This is their household of faith. And often the business is the Noah's Ark for the employees. It's the thing that moves them out of danger into a place of salvation and safety. And so when business leaders get the fact that their people are part of their household, then they come up with creative solutions, just as our friend did in Indonesia. And they are moved by compassion. So our work should be compassionate, and our work should demonstrate the compassion 
of Christ. You'll remember when Jesus got towards the end of his ministry on the earth and he approached Jerusalem. What did he say in Luke 19? Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how I long to gather you as a hen gathers her chicks. Such a lovely, careful, uh, tender description of the work of Jesus. Let's make our work not just passionate, but also compassionate. Not just empathetic in a cool, human-centered design way, but actually driven through the love of Christ. The love of Christ compels me, says the scripture. Let the love of Christ compel us in our work.